Hey guys, this is Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. I blog at lifestones.com where we share our personal financial journey to help you budget your best life. I am here today with a fast video. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday, but I really wanted to quickly get on here and film my January budget video for you because if I don't do it today, I'm not really sure when I'm gonna get to it. So let's jump right into the budget. Hey guys, okay, so I am here in my budget and I'm probably gonna start a whole new workbook, but I just wanted to get this video quickly filmed for you. I'm just gonna go down all my expenses. If you haven't seen any of my budgeting videos before, I will link my budgeting playlist up here in the cards and you can check them out. And what we do is we budget the first half of the month here which is our first pay, my husband's first pay, anything I bring in, his money he gets from the VA. So my husband gets paid twice a month and we kind of categorize all of our budgets in the first half of the month and the second half of the month. So I have it listed here, the first pay and the second pay. And anything extra that comes in, we just kind of categorize it within my husband's pay periods. This area here is where I estimate our income, and then as the paychecks come in throughout the month, I will actually go in here, edit it, and put in the exact numbers that come in just to make sure the budget is tightened up and everything is accurate. And then over here on this side, under expenses, I'm just gonna go down and go through all of our expenses. So we give $100 to our church each month, we donate $29 to World Vision. This is to sponsor a refugee. Stash is $10 in the first pay and 11 in the second pay. And this comes out of my personal money. This is just a small little investment app that I kind of play with my personal money on the side just for fun. This is cat stuff. It says this is our cat litter and cat food that we have auto shipped um, from Target each month. This is our mortgage that I am going to start, I believe, in January, transferring either to our Capital One checking or our Ally checking. I haven't figured out yet, but I will actually have this sent automatically, 708 each pay, to that account, and then I will have the mortgage auto paid directly from that account. Chase, this is the one credit card that we have, and I will go in here and update this whenever I get a chance to check the balance, and I pay that balance off every single time my husband is paid. So it's paid off twice a month. Groceries is $200. We spend $400 a month on groceries for a family of four. And I have $200 coming out of each half of the pay. Our trash, you can see here, is marked savings. So trash, water, life insurance, and auto insurance get sent to our savings account each month. And then when it's time to pay these quarterly bills, I will transfer it back into checking and pay the bills. Our cell phone is about $203. Our internet's about $60. Our electric, gas, sewer, that's all paid the second half of the month. You can see the costs there. These are just estimates. Actually, the gas will go up substantially because it's winter now. And the electricity will probably remain about 100 just because of all the Christmas lights and everything that's been used the past couple weeks. Yoli is some nutritional supplements that we used to be a part of. It was a network marketing company. We're not um, active anymore, but I do still pay the monthly fee. And that will probably go away in 2019 as well, since I'm just not active. It's kind of pointless to keep paying it. This is my husband's gym membership. That comes out the second half of the month. You can see these next couple are marked Visa. So these are all auto charged to our Visa card. And we plan on switching these from the Visa to our bank account probably once we're finished with baby step three. And I've kept it here because we often drain our checking pretty low, especially while we were paying off debt. We were draining it down pretty low each month and I didn't want to make a mistake and accidentally forget to leave enough money in there for the auto pays to come out. We just left it go this way and it, it's worked just fine. So that brings us down here. Those are all of our fixed expenses. Now we come down here and this section here in the light green is all of the money that we pull out for cash envelopes or sinking funds. And then I just keep track of our sinking fund balances 
in my budget binder and I also have a video on how I set up my budget binder I'll link that up above as well so you can check that out I just pulled all these numbers from last month so I am going to have to go in and edit them kids stuff I will probably put zero because we are going to be paying for soccer actually this week and I will just take that from the kids stuff so I decided with my cash envelopes I'm going to try and start lowering the envelope amounts on the first half of the month for some of the categories that we don't really need much for at this time because I do take our personal money out in the first pay of the month so that will kind of offset that amount needed so for gifts I'm only going to take $20 out in the first half of the month house maintenance I'll keep it 25 car maintenance I'll keep it 25 I'm going to keep the kids stuff at 30 for the second pay, gifts at 40 for the second pay, house and car at 25. The doctor and medicine, we don't need too much in there. Thankfully, our prescriptions are low and we don't have a high copay. I'm going to keep that zero the first pay and 10 the second. I'm going to put the vet care down to 10 the first pay and 25 the second. My husband gets $75 personal money in the first half of the month. I get 40 and then like I said, I have that other $20 that goes to stash. So I get a total of 60. I'm gonna keep kid commissions at 10 and 10. They are off for Christmas break, so I'll probably allow them to earn some extra money if they're willing to do some extra chores. I also just made a kids commission video if you wanna check that out. You can see all about how we run our kid commission system at our house. Lunch money, I know that envelope is empty, so I'm gonna keep that at 10 and 10. That is for my husband when he has training days or my son to get lunch at school once a week. Toiletries, that I know is almost empty, so I'm gonna keep that at 10 and 10. Haircuts, I actually need a haircut soon, so I'm gonna start saving towards that for myself. My husband and son just got a haircut, so I'll just leave that at 10 and 10 as well. Sam's, I'm just gonna put that 25 and 25. That's, we just save for our household items like toilet paper, paper towels. We get our dog food at Sam's um, and a couple other items that we get there regularly. So I started saving separately for those. Restaurants, I will leave at 30 and 30. Entertainment, 30 and 30. And miscellaneous, 40 and 40. So you can see our expenses for the first half of the month. 196309 and the second half of the month 180642. There's our total for the full month. That doesn't leave us with too much money. That leaves us with just about $350 going to our emergency fund for baby step three. Our first pay is $166.91. Our second pay is $193.58. And that will get transferred to our ally savings account to save for our three to six months of expenses for baby step three. You can see here, this pulls the total that I need for cash envelopes. So I will pull out $360 in cash the first half of the month and $320 the second half of the month if nothing changes. And up here, this just totals the income. Now, the one thing I will mention is sometimes these change and I'll just come in here in the spreadsheet and change them and everything can update automatically. And I also want to mention that I usually lowball my husband's pay. I would rather have a worst case scenario when it comes to our budget than plan on things that we can't do because we didn't bring in enough income. So this 21, 30 and 2000 here are kind of lower, safer estimates. Hopefully his pays will be higher than that. And of course, anything extra that happens to come in for the month will go straight toward baby step three. My goal is to hopefully save at least $1,000 a month towards baby step three. Um, it's not looking so good right here. I've told you guys before, we do not have a big shovel. If you don't know what a big shovel is, that means we don't have a very high income. And I think sometimes the numbers can be deceptive because when you are baby step two, you are just doing every single thing you can to bring in extra money and and put every single penny you can towards debt so the numbers seem to be so much higher also my husband was doing a lot of overtime which has since slowed down in the past couple of weeks so his paychecks have been a little bit lower than they were for a while so we will just see how this plays out 
and hopefully we have a bunch of extra money that we're able to throw towards baby step three because I'm really anxious to get that started. That's the whole budget. It's really, really simple this month. Just our expenses and everything extra is going to savings. As far as I know, we don't have anything out of the ordinary coming up. Hopefully it all goes as planned and we'll be able to get some extra money to finally get started with baby step three. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful in some way. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I make a budget video like this every single month. So if you enjoyed it, I hope you'll consider subscribing and hope to see you next time. Bye.